Okay, so we're going to work through um, about five or six of these problems together, and then the rest you'll complete on your own. It says solve the problems below. Simplify your fractions to the lowest terms, of course, if possible. So um, what these are are different probability scenarios, and we're supposed to figure up what the outcome of that um, scenario is supposed to be. So if we look at number one, it says, what is the probability of getting a five after rolling a single six-sided die? So think about whenever you're playing like a board game and you have a dice um, and you roll it and you, of course, have six sides to that dice and the numbers on that dice range from one to six. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's got the little dots on it. So the question again says, what is the probability of getting a five? So it lands on a five face up whenever you roll a six sided dice. Well, there's a total of six outcomes. So that's going to be our denominator. And in order to land on a five, well, there's only one side that has a five as an outcome. So our um, probability is going to be one sixth. We have one in six chances of landing on a five. Number two, it says, what is the probability of pulling an ace from a standard deck of playing cards? So um, in case you haven't played with a deck of cards a whole lot, um, each deck of cards, it's standardized that there are 52 cards in a deck, okay? Well, there are a total of four aces, okay? And I'm going to make note of that. There's four aces in a deck of cards because there's one in each suit, like um, ace of diamonds, ace of clubs, ace of hearts, and so on. And there's four of them. And there's a total of 52 cards. So I'm going to write four out of 52. And again, it says simplify to the lowest terms if possible. And which we can, um, we can actually divide by four. And I'll tell you what, let me rewrite this fraction a little bit. There we go. If we divide by four, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and when we take 52 divided by 4, that'll go in 13 times, okay? So, our simplified probability is 1 13th, okay? Number 3, it says, what is the probability of choosing a red marble from a bag containing 4 red, 3 green, and 3 blue marbles? So, let's add up first how many total marble marbles are in that bag. We've got... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have a total of ten marbles, and it's asking what's the probability of picking out a um, red. And there's four red possible, so four out of ten. And again, we've got to simplify it to its lowest terms. If we divide by a factor of two, four divided four divided by two is two. Ten divided by two is five. So two fifths would be the simplified probability there. Number four, it says, what is the probability of pulling a two, three, or four from a standard deck of playing cards? Well, again, there are four sets, um, four cards of two, four cards of three, and four cards of four because of the different suits, the diamonds, the hearts, the clubs. Um, so we know that there's a total of 52 cards And we know we got to take 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is going to give us 12. So 12 over 52 there. And we can divide by a factor of 4. 12 divided by 4 gives us simplified 3. And 52 divided by 4, according to problem number 2, we got us 13. So 3 over 13 um chances there of of pulling a card that has a two three or four on it um number five it says what is the probability of choosing a letter from a jar containing all the letters in the english alphabet and so if you were to count up the letters in the english alphabet from a to z there's a total of 26 letters okay so with there being 26 letters that would have to be our denominator 
And again, it says, what is the probability of choosing a letter from a jar containing all the letters? Well, if we're just choosing a letter, it's not specific. So, of course, it, whenever you, <clears throat> it doesn't matter which trial or which time you reach your hand down in that jar and you pick out um, a slip of paper that's got one of the letters on it, it's going to be all of them. That's all that's listed in the jar. So, all 26 letters are in that jar. So 26 out of 26 times, which reduces down to one. And from what we learned um, previous, that when we have a probability of one, that means it's certain. Um, it's certainly going to happen. Um, it, it's a hundred percent probability that you're going to, you're going to get that. And then the last one I'm going to do is number six. It says, what is the probability of choosing a vowel from the same jar used in problem five? Okay, so this time we're still using the same jar, so that means we've got 26 letters in it, but this time they're specific and they say choosing a vowel. Well, our vowels are A, E, I, O, and U, okay? We're not including Y in this case. We're only going with our traditional vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. So that's a total of five, five letters. So five out of 26 would be our probability there on that one. So what I need for you guys to do is complete the rest of these problems.